Hello guys, this is Mutual Charlie. Today guys, and I'm the host of whatever this new channel is called, um, yeah. Anyway, um, today guys, I'm going to show you guys how to make a cool fighting system. Not the gun one, the other one. So, I've actually done it for this game by year. Well, by the way, I'm actually uploading it right now, and I've already uploaded it. So yeah guys, it's such a good guys. It'll be linked down below to get it guys, and it's such a cool game, I'm very proud of it. But I'm gonna show you guys how to make a cool fighting system from scratch. So first guys, we just wanna create your scene and all that. So I'm just gonna create my enemy and play as an enemy. And I'm gonna give him a little thing for you. I also wanna add animation as well. Because obviously you need to add animation, right? <laughs> so you're gonna I'm gonna say player two and um player one. The animation is going to be so simple, it's going to be a circle, really, you know, it's going to be a bit harder, so let's go like this. Um, let's go like that, and go like that, and go like that, and then go like that, and then go like that, and fill in back here. And then let's just go and go. I'm recording by you. I find people are very annoying when they do that. So that looks perfect, right? Yeah, that looks good. And then I'm going to just make create a face. Here we go guys, I'm just gonna create that like that. So let's just um create it uh, let's just create this one green, means it's not fighting. And then let's just go like this. And let's just create a little thing to that. And then if he is fighting, he will have a little animation. It's gonna be very similar. Um, I'll also just add that. Let's go to let's go to copy and paste. Let's just call this player two equals one. Let's just call that. Nope, that's the wrong one. Player two equals one. Here we go. I'm just gonna edit this guy with pixel. Pixel. And then what I'm gonna do then is I'm just gonna go and make it so his arm is gonna be straight as well. So I'm just gonna do one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's six, right? No, then seven. And I just have to delete this. And let's go like that. There you go. And then we're just going to need to make the, the face to be a different color. Make it red. That's all I really need. And I just need to add lamination like that. Quit. And then like that. So I've now created a player dude. Oh, 
what also is animation so i'm also gonna give him behavior on behavior is gonna be um platform character i'm sure that's the gravity guys so this will happen <laughs> what we can have to do is um create um a new type little spirit and then we're gonna call this um block no wall slash floor wall and then floor so then I'm just gonna create a new spirit thing and we're just gonna go and to be that. And then we're gonna go like that. And this is just gonna be like that guys, this is only a test for now. This is just me trying to make a, a thing for you guys, but this is like a demo thing I guess. <sighs> enemy one an enemy if you if you wanna get out if you wanna add an enemy should just say enemy one enemy two enemy three anyway and then then what we're gonna do actually gonna be called simple if I can do it um go like this copy paste three names and call this enemy one enemy one that one and then let's create one of these and let's call <coughs> uh, let's create one of these copy paste I'm gonna call this um to an enemy to yeah. now what we're gonna do is also add a value for that get our enemy one and let's get our enemy two with enemy one so but we do need to change some stuff there <coughs> we're going to change um um this to make it uh, no we need to make it so it's going to be orange the face no, I need to buy dim. What can I do for it when it's by dim? Uh, what can I do for when it's by dim? Let's just make it a bit more darker orange, maybe. Yeah. Preview. Good, I'm happy with that. And now what we're gonna do is just now make all the code for it. No way, that nothing is okay. Okay, so I'm gonna make it just now. And then we're gonna go like that. We're also gonna add some collision boxes, and that's just gonna be quite easy. Let's go like that. Add the same for this one. So like that. Okay. So now what we have to do 
is out of the fighting thing, yeah, so what we're gonna do is, if I press what, so also we need to, um, um, edit object variable, add, I'm gonna call this player, I'm gonna get it to be, well, that's gonna be like so, and then, then I'm gonna do it for the Zacko thing instead, and so this is gonna be called, Enemy and it kept to what's the enemy is going to be two, one, two, one, two. So each, each enemy is different, different. So you're going to have the same amount of spawn to do that like that. Now, what we're going to do, guys, is also make some conditions that uh, I'm going to add a uh, construct calling this the pet. So um, let's call it. Health test. So technically, what health test means is it's going to test the variables for what it is. Let me add one down here and call in fighting. Um, Facial system, so that facial system. That's very smooth. So, yeah. Anyway, what we're going to do, guys, is go to here and then we're going to go to variable, let's go variable, value of var variable, uh, player, then go to, let's, let's go to that, guys. Then, then we're going to do equal to. Less than, less no, um, less or equal to zero. Like that, guys. And then we're gonna copy this, guys. I'm gonna put this in the other one, and then we're gonna change all the pictures on that. I'm gonna go on to enemy, and then we're gonna do the stack box thing we're gonna do. Like that, guys. And then, then I'm going to need to do an action for it, so I'm just going to say delete an object, and uh, that's going to be a slash one. For me, I'm also going to say slash one. Okay. That's to be done like that, guys. So yeah. Now we just need to make the fighting system. Now, to be precise, my fighting system will need one more work, guys. I'm just going to make it easier for you guys. First, I'm going to go like this, guys. So then I can actually... Um, See where I'm after putting it. I'm gonna call this the fighting. So the fighting zone. Now that will mean where we will be. Well, if we are in this zone, we can fight the character. And then I'm just gonna place it by here. Like and then what I'll need to do guys is actually delete these characters by here and then put this by here. Maybe I'm just gonna make it a bit more bigger. And then I'll just put this here and then just make it a bit more bigger. Mm. And it doesn't matter. And then then I'm gonna and then we change the theme property to be like that. And this is a bit big. Okay, that's, that's perfect size. So yeah, like that. Now I've already showed you guys how to make a bullet, so I don't need to worry about making a gun system. I can use it off my left eye. Oh, yeah, all the way then guys, for wall floor, guys, what we're gonna do is go to behaviors. I'm going to click on platform. Like that. Now I can walk. And yeah. 
I also, I also don't like the way I walk as well. I want to add some animation as well. Oh, that's pretty. Maybe get another harbor bike. Maybe make some harbor like things. Um, let's put it there. Let's, let's create a harbor for now. Really. What we're gonna do is go like this. Bad guys, but yeah. Okay. Um. Mom, can you please be a bit quieter? That's well. That's bad, guys. And then, then that would make more sense, wouldn't it? So, but then let's see if the enemies are still. The enemies are standing still. Oh, let's go to the front of me. May as well, isn't it? Um. Mom, I'm recording by you. Oh, that, guys. I'm back guys. And then let's go to the other one and then let's go over here. Yeah, I just need to do the echo some of the There we go. <sighs> it's getting too loud now. <sighs> then Anyway, like that. Oh my god, okay. Now, guys, that's how it's going to be. And as you can see, it looks a lot nicer. I'm gonna just go like that. Like that anyway, I was gonna try to do some things to make it look like nice and harder, but I can't. So, yeah, guys, I'm actually, I'm actually happy with that. So, yeah, that's nice to know, guys. Then, I need to make a fighting system, guys. So, let's do that. <laughs> well, actually, yeah, I actually need to make a fighting system now, guys. So, I'm gonna say keyboard. No, keyboard, press, no, release, it's going to be number, if I press number one, I can get, I can get rid of the two, I'm going to then play an animation, change the animation by name, player one, and then, let me say, player one, that right and then play the animation player one no it's not working oh no oh no 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 the player one I'm just gonna make player one, yeah, that's be fine, right? Uh, okay, how do I do this? And uh, now let's make sure that's the hard. And like that, it'll actually work. And I'm also gonna need to get another one of the text coming in. Um, help, God. Stop. I'm 
this this means I cut this up with the game. Anyway, um, I'm thinking about white wires and all this. Yeah, going to be there. Wait, I also need to get I also need to get if collision, if collision is with player one and if I can jump, it will actually be a hit. Hmm, but this is not working. Set player one animation. Okay, okay, my mouse is no longer off. Confirm no for animation mouse. Player, boom. Uh, I'm gonna say player one. Not animation mongols that you're in there, then. Player one. Uh, I don't know, guys. <laughs> I really don't know at this point. I don't, I forgot what I did. I have to press play then you can save, 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 open, and then you go to here, you go to here, you go to here guys, I'm sorry but I need to probably do it at home, so to do it is, where is it, um, collision, yeah, I just probably set animation to, yeah that should work, oh I just realized something, Ah, I did the wrong animation. Anyway, let's go back to here. Um, go to here. Um, wrong animation means you don't do it. So now it will work. Also, if I go to here, guys, and then I'm gonna go to third animation. If animation finish, player one, it's gonna change back to um gonna change animation by name again to be actually now this time player one. This time you'll actually be well ago. And that'll actually be a be a be should be a working animation idea thing you. Um here we go guys that works look <laughs> and if I go to here what? Not working huh? No, no. It's not looking better, but if I go near him, I'm guessing. Yeah, I can actually make an edit there. I can even make it be a bit closer. That maybe. I'm trying to make this nice and close to them. And if I go by here, I would say, and press that, and then I would. Yeah. And boom. But yeah, I'll, I'm just going to say that's okay for now, I'm guessing. And if I go by here, I'm not going to make it nice and big so I can actually know where it is. Okay yeah, guys, if I press 1, it's not working enough, but if I go right here, near him, I, it will work, so that's good, yay! The, the main part of it guys, the main part of it, that's quite exciting to know guys, so now guys, we just have to do all the variables, yeah, yeah, yeah! But wait guys, don't worry about this, actually, you do need to worry about this. I was, um, since I wanna, since I add an animation, I'm gonna need to do this again, I guess, and yeah. Um, since I since I didn't really add animation to the enemy though, that was a problem. So I'm gonna add animation to the enemy in this one, guys. <laughs> More ha ha. Um, yeah. Enemy one two. Do what like that. Then what we're gonna do, guys, is make it so if the enemy animation finished, 
So then we have to move the bee this part. Now I'm just gonna go over here, click on the move an enemy to be play my enemy. Where are the clicker? Come on, enemy. Like that. And this should be now a working system. He didn't do it. But he didn't do it. Didn't do it. It, it. Didn't do it. It didn't do it. Actually, no. Let's not. Let's not do that one. I didn't do any other ones. If you guys want wanted to do them ones, um, I'm I'm not fully learned with animations yet, guys. So I'm not really gonna learn a lot of animations today's video. It's just about the system I need to learn with guys about. I could also um add it to the rest of the fucking system by you, but I'm uh, not really gonna need to. Um, I'm not sure why I actually got it here. I think I did do that the time to that. And then I need to go to variables. Multiply a variable of an object, player one, player, and then I'm gonna go uh, subtract, and then I'm gonna go one. Oh no, I know why. It's gonna be much more fun. <laughs> Last arise. Let's see. Like that. And then I'm gonna go like this, and then I'm gonna make it go like this, and like that. Now, because if, if I press number two, the two attack, I will die. But if I press the number one attack, I will win. That's, that's, what, that's how I did it, because I'm not sure how to really make it work in any other way. Yeah, like that. And then I'm just going to go like that. And then put like that on the shirt. Put like that and then just click and just go two for that one. Boom, done. And this is technically guys the fighting system done. Technically, yes. So let's it time to test it, I guess. So if if I press two or one left, I can't do it. If I go near them, one, one, what? One one. Well, equals in his death, right? Yeah. Oh no, um, that's a problem. Um, that's a problem. Two, okay. two, two. Yeah, that's perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Oh. <laughs> Two, two, perfect, and then if I press one, one, yeah, this your thing will be two times. One, one, beautiful guys, I've done it, yay! I've done it, I've done it. Guys, this is technically, guys, everything you need to do, guys. That's all you need to do. What's this done? Oh, <laughs> Um, yeah, guys, that's all we need to do, guys. I'm just gonna have to rename this um, stuff. This one is already there, I don't need to add into it. But now, guys, let's make a tutorial game. Is it? Yeah, is it? May as well. I've technically, technically got it all ready for a real game. But technically, I should. So, let's, guys, let's make it into like a proper level, and yeah. So what I'm going to do is actually make this a bit longer. They think I can't hear that. Good. 
There you go, time to test. Let's see if I can see anything to play here. And I will show you the school and in health school stuff. Yeah, that's when you get the least stuff. What is what this do? What is do the least one? Is it a peep? Delete. Delete. Yeah, um, for stuff. What are we gonna do, guys? Make it go. Um, what do I need again? Um, yeah, collision as well. Um, what's happening? I just, I just flag. I just flag. Um, I actually got a very cool tip for you guys if you guys want to make a cool looking flag. So we have to do this one to you. Then we are going to you like this. And then what we want to do first is go like this. Do that like that. And then go like this. I think this looks very cool personally. Um, so yeah. I use this idea. This, this is what I use. So, now to do the collision stuff like now that's actually quite easy to do the hitboxes. They're actually a tiny bit hard, but like if you um you like to make it like perfect, it's actually gonna be very hard. So I that's what I always do, you know. You could do that but now nah, let's just go like that now. Anyway, I mean, I don't know. Let's go. Let's, let's just do that. Go on. I got it, guys. Let's just, let's just go like that. Go on. Like that. And then the flag is all done. Like that, right, guys. And then, guys, you just get collision. So, collision. Player. And then flag. Equals in. So yeah, like that, and then we're going to add accent, and then obviously do whatever we want to do, like, um, I might actually need to make a windscreen, so, I'm going to call the meanest level one, and then we're going to get something called, uh, one, and then I'm going to get something called, um, dark, Page. It's going to be on top of the way, so I can remove it. Up. Up. And then, and then I'm going to get something called level zero, aka um, when you pick all your levels. Level zero, and then we're going to move up, move up like that. Yeah, that's how it would look like, guys. So yeah, let's go like that. So, for starters, what we're going to do is make a simple button system. So, technically, guys, I'm just showing you guys how to make a little fight in the game, you know, on us. That's how it's going to work. Let's make a dream out of one video. Because I wanted to know, guys, how to make a game for yourself. Um, Dark. 
button and symbol is in the sky random color will be Nah, nah, aku kau ikhlas lagi. Nah, lihat ni. Kau, nah, aku kau ikhlas. Kau sen text, kau best. Dog text. Mana sekali si. Kita size forty. And let's go on there. Let's do the color. Let's go. And 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 let's name this. Um. Let's start. I'm also going to get a how to play thing as well. So that's what I like to do personally, how to play button thing. So I'm also going to go to here. I'm also going to add um, a text called how to. And I think this will be 30. To play, no, to to move in. So to move left and right, press move left, press the left and right. To move <coughs> right, press um. I'm going to do for now, there will be really some more stuff added into it, that has to be right, <laughs> I'm also going to make this bigger, um, some proxies, make it look nicer, there we go like that, maybe that's good, obviously not, um, Um, here we go, that's, uh, not good exactly, let's make it as big as possible, because I might be releasing this game guys, yes, <laughs> um, so I'm going to go like this, um, and then I'm going to go to here, and then I'm going to go to see, no, I'm going to go to mouse, and multi-touch, then multi-touch, okay, I'm going to see what to do guys, create one by year, and then just go click on add condition and then go to mouse and touch and go to multi touch and then go and look for if the cursor slash touch is on an object start button uh yes and then we're gonna go um and keyboard and then right And then I'm just going to go to change the screen. This is technically, guys, everything, almost everything you guys have learned um, over the other videos. Like that. I'm going to send the test this far, so let's start it. Release. Let's test. Um, uh, um, mouse button. Ah, that's it. So if mouse button is released, um, left like that, guys. Let's do that. Let's put that one. That's the one. That's on this one by you because then I said I wanted to then click on mouse. Oh, okay. 
Before it gets dark, okay? And then it's work. Yes! And then, on level zero, guys, we just have to get, um, level one. Back then. And if it's work, let's go, like, hang on, let's just go and get the red. Like so. And I'm just gonna go and go like this. Guys, then we get gonna get tax level one tax. I'm gonna say just level one. That's what we're gonna say. So let's do start level one. Level one. Like that, and then boom, guys, that should be good. And then we're gonna just make another button system like that. That's all. Easy enough, right? <laughs> I'm just gonna get. Okay, yeah, let's, let's just get a freezer. May as well. We're just gonna go into an art condition. Uh, let's do that. That. Uh, level 1 button. I spelled the wrong way. I said it's on mine, so I spelled it right. Okay, what day is it? I think it's Saturday now. Yeah. I think that I actually forgot what day it is. And then go to here, go to here, go to here, go to here, and then go to here, and then, and then change the screen to be. So guys, if I'm going too quick for you guys, all you have to do is just slow down the video, like three star and slow down. All you have to do is. And comment down below if this, this video actually helped you in any way. Yay! And also, I'm not, honestly, I should actually export it after. So I got one remaining, I'm actually going to do four because I've already. But yeah, um, I actually don't like the way that tail is. I don't like that tail at all. So, what I might. No, actually, no, I can't fix it, can I? I just mark it. So, yeah, what I'm going to try to do, guys, is now, um, I don't need to add any more levels yet, but when I. Actually, I will in a minute. When I actually go to here, I'm go to level one of them and click on and look for helpful stuff. Like you know the thing. This is what I did. Remember the helpful stuff. Go to here and then no, go to the flag one we did. And go to add condition and the flag one. And then I'm gonna go to change screen and I'm gonna go like this. And go to the next one. And then I'm gonna go to this. And I'm gonna make it actually work first. So, oh no, <laughs> don't have to look after that. I'm gonna go to here, add um, one button, and then go like this. I'm just gonna get a level zero to be um, that as well. There we go. Now what we're gonna do is go to here, go to here, and just go to here like that. Like that and that should be like this. Perfect. Just one tax. One tax. Tax. I'm just gonna go to here and I'm just gonna say, um, well done, you, you have won. Well done, you have won, two. Go back to start and start playing the um, select the button. And then, if I actually have a password to go to level 2 or something, I'm 
you might have it so i might actually do it after but i might not so i'm not going to do it just in case you know i'm just going to go to here go to here and we'll try this for the currency and that should be good perfecto well almost yes uh let's make it one more two three bigger then it might be perfecto might have high said not sure but maybe maybe that's wrong Da 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 and then we're gonna go to change. Yeah, there's a lot of change scenes in the games I like to make, so yeah. I'm just, I'm just trying to make things faster. Well, in most of the games, there's actually a lot of change scene things. Well, not a lot, but can be a lot in some games. Just saying. Yeah, guys, time to test it, guys, from all the way. Yes. So, fix the start. To move, to move left, press the left arrow. To move right, press press right arrow. Arrow to jump, press spacebar. To move, press the left arrow. To to move right, press the right arrow. Click to start. Click to start level one. And I can't shoot him right now. Or hear him right now. So if I go to here, I can. Here we go. And then I go all the way over there and boom. Well then you have one to go to to go back to start page, click the button. And boom guys. I've just done it guys. But I might add one more level. No, I want Guys, that's how guys you can make a simple level guys. Well well a uh, game technically with a level to start started and one level only. But I might add one more level, so let's do that now guys. Cause I am adding one more level because I was so simple. Anyway what we're gonna do is actually go to here, rename this and call this level two. And then what we're gonna do is actually move this down. We're actually gonna need to copy the one screen as well. So copy and paste and then we're gonna go move this down and we're gonna call this one two. Cause I will also need to change land this one because it has it has a password thing right so go to here I'm gonna say um the password pass the color to go to level two is green yeah, I'm making a game too. Is green, and that's all I'm gonna say, guys. That's all you need to say. And um, yeah, well, like uh, how that go? Perfecto. Also, now what I'm gonna do, guys, go to create a level two thing. So let's go to here and let's go to here. Go to paste, and then I'm gonna go and call this. Level two TA. TA stands for password or whatever, so yeah. I'm just gonna go move I'm just gonna move this down. Actually no, let's move this up guys like that. But technically it does need to be up like that. 
I mean, that's how the order goes, right? But yeah, guys, let's go all the way down to here and. Um, there's nothing to do here. I'm gonna actually delete all of this, guys. Right. Cut. 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 Technically, technically, guys, I'm making like a new thing, guys. I just actually forgot all about the thing here. And yeah, I'm just gonna put I'm just gonna put that help for um the right one the wrong one. So yeah, I'm just gonna go like that, guys. That bush stuff it doesn't really need anything anyway. So yeah, let's go and create the character. This is gonna be just a simple character really. Um, player. One. I'm then gonna go like this and just create. Okay, so now this is one time I will create a sequel for it, and stuff, and another time where I create the games as well. But that's creating games. I think I can use this. Yeah, let's create a color to be blue. And that's it. I can't hit my ears. And I just can't hit my ears. I don't know. But they can't turn it off all the stage because that's a problem. Play, uh, one. That. <coughs> what I got, guys. And then I'm just gonna make a little border thing after. Don't need, don't need to, but you should make a border. Let's go call, call this border. Let's go like that. Let's go like that. Border. And let's get. Uh, let's make it that color. Now this part does need to be a tiny bit perfect to be honest. It doesn't need to be it doesn't need to be fully perfect, but uh try to make it as good as possible to be honest guys. I am not really good at this part. This is the part I really don't like the most. So this is a curly hate lane lining up these parts. So I'm gonna go all the way down in here. I know the screen doesn't actually show this part, but <coughs> and we actually show us more than this part, but uh, okay. <laughs> so I'm sorry, my fault. Yeah. Um. Oh, I'm sorry. Not sorry. I'm sorry. What just happened? Um. Cut and copy and paste. Oh, I'm sorry. Not well, maybe that's good enough for now. Um There you go, um... That's good. Okay.
think <coughs> now I just have to create the um, color. So one is going to be um, this one is going to be green because that's the choosing color. So I'm going to put that there. Green. Let's make it short for the green now. Yeah. So green. For the green. And this is going to be on the side there. And let's create another one. Call this one true. Let's create another color. Let's put red. Let's go on. Be in the middle, I believe this will be the way I want it to be for you. And then let's create blue. I already got blue, so no, um, three would just be. Um, obviously, you can add more colors, I'm just adding three colors for now. Um, this could be cyan blue, then. Oops. Blue, I guess. I'm gonna fix. That's that. That's that. And then let's go to the food. And let's call this red. Like so. And that's that. That looks pretty nice to me, guys. I'm pretty happy with that. And guys, time to do all the, time to do all the collisions. Da, da, da. And with the right one, what we're gonna do is just um, what we're gonna do with the right one. If it's right, if it's the right one, it's gonna uh, no, if it's right one, what it's gonna do is it's gonna go with collisions. Oh, it's gonna be collisions as well. So collisions. Um, player one. And then one will make it so I'll go to um change this to level <coughs> two like that. Level so if it's the wrong one, we're gonna do um, different collisions uh, like so. And two and three. If that if that happens, it's just gonna quit game. May as well do that. Now. Um, quit game like so. That is perfect to me. Now we also need to do one more thing. Collision with border. So this is where the help box just comes in. So if I get more collision. That or that. <laughs> that. Like that. That's technically all done. Then, and then I'm just going to get change. Um, this is going to be um, level, no, level 2. Three. It's time to test everything, guys. So let's just go to level zero. Let me just go here, and then if I go to here, 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 and and then I should be I should be creating new one of these, and I so yeah, let's go to here, and then if it just let 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 me just copy this um copy. The paste and call this level two button. So so 
this back though. And then we add this right here. You go like that, and then let me just put some, I don't know, pencil, and cut. I'm actually going to copy this as well, maybe I'll do that as um, level 2 cut. That and then we just press this. And then we just go and now I have to add the player system to this people and we can see what the rest of this is. Okay, good. And then we just go back here and then um, player one, add object. Uh, nope, wrong one. <laughs> Mario Mario. Um, then we go back here, here and wrong one actually. That's from behavior as well. I'm going to get a behavior called top down movement. And let's test it. So, okay. Why is this? Why is that? Oh, yeah, sorry. That's physics. Okay, good. Um, that works, I'm, I'm guessing. So now, what we do, guys, is do the level 2 stuff. So level two is actually gonna have some different systems. In fact, in fact, you won't even need this part, guys. You don't need that. It's gonna be a shooter. So yes, I'm gonna make a shooter for this part. So let me see if I can actually edit it. Actually, no, let's not edit this. <laughs> so if I need to, so all I have to do, guys, is actually delete uh, this. Actually, no, I'm gonna delete this by here so delete this by here and this actually I'm going to delete all these things from here everything else I can keep from this one all that I can keep just actually need to remove this one and actually need to make um a shooting system yes I said that correct a shooting system I actually made a video of how to make a shooting system. I'm being honest, guys, I am not prepared for it because I barely remember how to make it. So, yeah, let's get ready. <laughs> let's get pulled out. I'm not prepared for it. <laughs> Ammo. One. I'm not going to change the ash to change it. I'm not sure that's the same thing. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to stick him like that. And what we're going to need to do now, now we just need to add um, another, another system to it. Also, I need to change one part right here with level 2. And change it to so go to 1, 2. And then if I go to 1, if I go to level 1, we can just do the one by here. Perfect. Um, now I just go here and all this. <laughs> I'm going to go there. And then I have to get another one called Ammo 2. Ammo 2. Ammo 2. Ammo 2. No, let's just go like that. Let's go by here. Let's go by here.
a bit darker green probably would be nice but can see yeah so yeah um Here we go. Like that, guys. What I'm doing now, guys, is do all this. <laughs> I'm really not looking forward to this, anyway, guys. This is something I'm really not looking forward to do, so let's do it. What we're going to do is create an object, um, ammo one, and then acquisition is going to be right here, guys. You guys could watch the tutorial of how to do this. Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna name the point um so one. So and then I'm just gonna copy this really and paste and then just get you know cap capitals on and just go like that and paste capitals off and then put this layer like that. Now we're trying to test if we actually created the object. If I press one, the object actually be created, yeah. That's good, obviously. And then what we need to do make it so it, it'll add force to it now that'll be the hard thing add force um player no um ammo one and then speed up to 30 i think i did 200 and 20 and then one that's all i did for this part like all i have to do for this part is really just that's perfect, that actually worked. Then now, now we just have to need to make it so if this happens, um, so then we're going to go like this. So instead of player, this is going to be enemy. Enemy. Right here. We're going to call this super 2. Super 2. That's what we're going to do, guys. Come on, let's make a new one. So let's go like this and let's go like this. So for this, what we're going to do is do ammo 2, and then we're going to go to the other, we're going to position, uh, enemy, and we're going to call it super 2. I have to say this needs a bit capitals on. We could also do shift instead, guys, so I can just put those off, but I can still do capitals at the end of the gap. And yeah. And I've actually done the enemy one. Now we just need to do the enemy one again. And I also need to do a minus in one of them. In fact, this one. Minus. There you go. Let's test it. <laughs> um, one. That's perfect, guys. That's perfect. So I'm very happy with that. But it's too big, I find it. So let's change the size and get a bit smaller. So it's not as big in there. What we're going to do is actually change quite a few things to fit the width to make sure it looks like this when it's done. Go like that. And then we do the exact same thing to this one right here. The exact same thing. Save. Here we go. Let's go like this. Now let's go to this box. Use and add. This one again. This, and I actually want to check off time change. I don't need to do that anyway. Like that, guys. So now, what we're going to do is actually test it to see if the gun system works. Yay! <laughs> that, that actually works, guys. All we have to do now, guys, is actually the death systems. So, 
what we're gonna do is we don't need this path though. Don't need it at all. Don't need the variables for this one. All we need to call this is the um if ammo. That's all we need to do. And then what we're gonna do guys is um collision player and then ammo two equal in you know quick um then enemy and we need to do enemy with ammo one because that's what me that's what my character sees ammo one like that and then what we're gonna do is just gonna try to make a simple system with this guy this um um chain scene if you want to i'm just gonna say quick again for um for player and um, the enemy is gonna be delete object and then it's gonna be called enemy obviously and that's that now we have to test everything guys to make it all work now i got a feeling some of it will be a bit uh not good so yeah let's test this so let's go just um Good. But now what we're gonna do is also test it if this happens to you. No, 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 no. If I press the wrong, if I press the different one, you know, the two. One, two. Good. Okay. Also, I also need to make it so it'll tell you how to fight as well. So, how to fight in level 1. You got two. And also, guys, um, on my screen is an old GUI system for mobile phones. We'll actually say that as well as that. In, and then I'll call it dot in level. So that's the information box telling you how to play the game and all that. So then, yeah. Let me go to level 2 to see what this will do. Um, and it, oh, I need to make a few more, I know. Go to here, and level 2. Okay, we'll go to this. And one. Two go, and two go, and then I won! But let me just see what will happen if I press this one. Yeah, good, 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 good. Okay, good. I'm happy with everything but one thing. This stream back and forth like this. I'm done. <laughs> Technically, I finished the game. But I want to add a couple of more things in the game settings. So go to icons. Let's generate an icon, icon from one of these files. Let's do. Uh, let's do 
layer one. Google, I've got all the icons for everything on here, guys. Just apply because otherwise it'll take too long. Resources, don't worry about that, guys. That's technically nothing to worry about. Um, global, no, don't worry about that. Properties, you do. So, for this one, I name the game. I'm gonna call mine. Um, um, fighter. Thing, no, fight, um, fight to win, no, um, click quick, um, hmm, um, fight the thing, like that. So I'm gonna do um I'm gonna, I'm just gonna type it on the as well. Like the thing yeah. So I'm gonna do this in one good way. Yep. Um that's all of that settings done really. Um you guys can name what your game whatever you want. Um I'm not really gonna do that so yeah. <laughs> I'm not doing the right way. I'm um, just clicking this. Okay, I'm going to use that. Click. Anyway, guys, now before I really want to export this because I mean, I've only got one exportation I can do. Um, so that's a problem for me. But yeah. Um, because I've actually exported the Assassin's Obstacle game. The Assassin's Obstacle game. My Assassin's Obstacle game. And this is actually, um, a similar game to Assassin's Obstacle actually now I think about it really. So let's test it all out guys, make sure it's all good. This is obviously the original one. In Assassin's what? In Assassin's of Circle guys, in Assassin of Circle what? In Assassin of Circle guys, it's actually um it's actually gonna be different versions of it. So it's gonna be new versions guys to be precise. So yeah. I'm pausing the video and I'm almost finishing it guys, I'm almost finishing it. So yeah guys, time to play the game and test it. So in the second of, in the second of circle, there's technically going to be more versions of it, so there's going to be adding more levels to it. So yeah, um, can I close it? Good. Okay, and then um, green here. And I won! <laughs> yeah, I will be adding more levels to this one probably as well. Um, in different days, obviously. Fuck yeah, there are actually going to be days so I can release the game like, today. Well, the Assassin's, um, the Assassin's of Circle game. So yeah, now what I'm going to do, guys, is actually export it. And I'm going to export it as a zip file and an auto install file. So, hey guys. So this and um, obviously guys if if it says I'm gonna create an account, um all you have to do is very simple guys is um if it says to create account guys, I'm gonna do this if it says create account instead. Just click and just click on create account or login or whatever you want to do via there. Um if you've got if you have never created an account on here before, click create account and click close. And then you will be it guys. Actually I had a comment on it and I actually tried to tell him when you know text. Um, with um with a uh, comment yeah that's the word comment so yeah how long does this video be it's probably going to take like hours and what I want to say <coughs> four minutes Yeah, and the game, obviously I will be trying to release um, some games on mobile because um, that's what I would like to use is on mobile 
be very nice to use it on. So right now, um, it's not letting me guys to put it on mobile right now because I can't download it on mobile. So I'm just trying to get everything to make it work and all that. But I need to do some stuff like you know to do so. So right now, guys, just wait. Wait for um, I'm not sure how long. So the Shadow of Circle is actually going to be a function game, but actually a Unity now to make the real assassins, um, real, real assassins, you know, where it's actually going to make a real one, you know, a function one. So I have to use Unity for it, because, um, one of the bosses of, um, one of the leaders or bosses of, um, this channel, um, aka the same dude is actually saying, um, we don't, we don't, we don't like, um, the G developed way of making it, so we want to use a different engine. So I told him, well, do you want to use Unreal Engine? Um, I told him that 3D would be very hard, so, um, and we could do 3D, and that's why I think he liked the idea. And then he said, um, I wonder what, what um, engine he used in um, the, the skating game, yeah? And then, and then he switched it up and then he, and he says Unity. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. I'm hoping you will change his mi uh, mind and do be developed, number one. Because I can make a, a way better game than I, than I would with, than I, than I, than I would ever make a Unity. Because Unity is too hard for me to use. I try to use like a thousand times now and I can't. It's too hard for me. I like to use these coding ways. I don't like to use the writing. Number one, it's boring. Number two, okay, num number one, I don't know how to do it, guys. It's not boring until I know how to do it. Well, you know what I mean. It's not boring, but I just don't like, just don't like the way it's done. Like, I wish, now, there's actually a plugin out there. Well, actually, it costs quite a, quite a bit of money. So I could have gotten off in this plugin if I really wanted to. Now, obviously, the person said, doesn't matter how long it takes, I want it done with Unity or whatever. Now, he, he didn't say my name, but obviously, but see, I'm one of the, I'm the coding, no, I'm the, um, the game maker part, I'm actually the game maker. I'm the leader of the game maker side of it, of this um thing we're doing. So yeah, so I don't, don't know what's called it. So right now I'm not sure. But yeah, of this thing we're doing, I'm I'm the I'm the coding part. I'm the, the game maker. He's the drawing and he's like like he's like I like to say he's like in a higher spot because um he actually is actually um most of his research I done. Drawing is actually a big thing in it, and I'm almost done, guys. I'm just waiting for stuff to happen, and I'm actually talking as well. <laughs> yeah, guys, now when you export your game, and they would be in the downloads files. So, yeah, you know. oh. I'll do it now after. So, yeah, guys, if you guys did the EXE, guys, and stuff, press this button by your. Now, don't worry about this, guys. It's very safe guys, the Microsoft doesn't know who it's from, they don't like it, so yeah, now, me, now my, my um, thing with zip files are very bad, I don't have a good zip file thing now anymore, so you guys, that's the game guys, it's time to test it, yay, <laughs> if you guys actually did a game guys, and you guys actually made a working game, you can clap yourself by your back, or on your back or whatever you call it, um, I'm not sure, so, let's just start. We have to make a working game, guys. Yay! Let's test if it actually works. So, um, where is it? Okay, I'm just going to that. Good, good. And then, boom. Perfect. So, like that. Yay! Okay, and... I'm going to release this when I get more levels of this, because this game technically, uh... Be good with more levels, this game would. So I'm very happy with the game. Indeed. Unless you're going to do the because I don't like that name. So I'm going to go to here. 
um, and uh, with this one, I'm actually going to go for my cost, and like a ex extract oil, oil. I can't believe guys I've actually made a game though in actually one hour I think it is. Yeah, one hour and twenty okay, it's been off not even thirty for actually one hour. But I still can't believe I actually made a game in video. <laughs> I've actually made quite a few games in video before. Um one even actually I think I've only made one game in video before, a challenge video. Oh my god, make a game in one hour. <laughs> I made it under an hour and I used Unreal Engine for it, for it. um, Fighter in Real, so then I have all of this, and uh, what's this next, if I wanna, I should have done this one quickly, add to this one here, so, I'm a tester guys, I'm just gonna go on this one, so, I'm just gonna create a shortcut of this so I can get an easier clip or get I'm actually going to show you guys all of the games I've made. The shortcuts of all the games I've made. This one doesn't have a custom logo, unfortunately. So they're not the rest of the time. So yeah. There you go. So guys, um, look at that. <laughs> oh, I still can't see where it is. Don't know where they are. For some reason it doesn't trust there. I don't know why, but I know it's trustworthy. There you go, it's just gonna... Anyway, so yeah, this is perfect, perfect. How's your display? Two levels. I would say this game is not perfect, but it's probably a good game. I'm, I'm happy with it. Hope you guys enjoyed, guys. Come on, here, let's go into here. Let me just go to the level. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please give a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.